Hello Technology Crazy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get iOS 7 on your iOS devices without paying the $100 fee to become an Apple developer or without waiting the three months until Apple actually releases it to the public. Now, unfortunately, since iOS 7 is still in beta, you can't just go and download the firmware file and just restore your device to it. You actually need to register your, your device as a Apple developer. Now Apple has set it up that you pay $100 to become an Apple developer for a year and then you can register as many devices as you want and you, you register them using their UDID. Now luckily for us there's a whole bunch of services out there that only cost about $5 to $10 and then they'll register your iDevice. Now once your device's UDID is registered under Apple you can successfully restore your iPhone to iOS 7 and successfully get into it. Okay, so the very first step is to find your device's IPSW or firmware file for iOS 7. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's totally fine. I have links in the description to where you guys can find it. I found the most successful was using the torrent, and I was able to get extremely fast download speed since this is about one gigabyte file. Now, the next step is to find your UDID number of your device. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. You can go to the app store on your device and look up UDID and download the app, and then you can email yourself your UDID, or you can just simply plug in your device into iTunes uh, and then click on serial number and that will change your UDID and you can right click on that and say copy identifier UDID. Now with that UDID you want to go open up Safari and we're gonna to have to find a service that will actually activate our phone. Now uh, there's lots of big services so if you just Google how to uh, like activate for example activate UDID iPhone uh, there's gonna be the big serv services on the top and usually their backlog is crazy there might be three or four thousand people in front of you uh, for example this website right here is a really big website um, but it might take 24 hours right now because there's so many people that want to uh, register their UDID so uh, to get it done really fast what I would suggest you guys go and do is go on Twitter or Google and Google UDID activation and this is an updated uh, feed of all the people that are doing UDID activations or people that are talking about it on Twitter and from that you can find people that are currently online and that don't have a very big backlog uh, for example that's how I found this guy and I opened up his website which I'll link in the description and it only took five minutes uh, the I think it was six dollars and I was good to go which uh, didn't even compare to the other bigger services which I still think haven't emailed me back and it's been over 24 hours or close to that uh, so I just really suggest going picking out uh, some of the smaller services that don't have such a big backlog now once you get activated you should get an email and uh, make sure that you get the email because you don't want to restore it when you're not activated because you won't be able to use your device and you'll have to wait until you're activated uh, so you should get an email saying you're activated then we can open up iTunes right here and uh, plug in your device and for Windows you have to do hold down shift and click restore for Mac you want to hold down option or alt and uh, then this will window will pop up and from here you can go and find your IPSW the file that we just downloaded at the very beginning of the file or of the video and then you want to open that and restore to that now if it doesn't work the very first time just try again and if that doesn't work just try again a little bit later Apple servers are really being hammered right now it should be good but uh, if you're having problems just try again and try again and try again now if you're on uh, iOS 7 and it says cannot activate or something like that that means your UDID did not activate or uh, Apple servers are just really slow and it hasn't updated yet so once again just wait a few minutes and try again anyways I guess that concludes this video please leave your comments and problems below and I'll try to answer them but also try to help each other out in the comments section anyways uh, I guess that's all please comment rate subscribe and uh, share this video and that's all from technology crazy goodbye